Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we encountered a group of Illithids in the sewers beneath the Temple District who were amassing an army for a purpose unknown. Fortunately, we were able to deal with them, and we got quite a few magic items from them including yes. the Wand of Wonder and the Hammer of Thunderbolts plus three. That's a pretty decent magical hammer, but it can get even better if we find some more items and give the assortment to Cromwell so that he can augment the weapon. I was about to leave for the Umar Hills when I remembered the guarded compound here in the Temple District. The fact that it's right by one of the entrances to the sewers, there's this one, the one that we used a lot, and this one here, will draw your attention to the building, and then you'll see its name and realise that it's very conspicuous. The fact that it's guarded is almost tempting you to go and have a look inside and just see why it's being guarded and by who. Are we welcome in there? The short answer is no. The long answer is, oh no, we are not welcome. But in we go anyway. You will suffer. Oh yes. Look who's come barging in. I should check the wards on the door, Ketter. I do believe that they've weakened enough to allow the riffraff in. It would appear so. An ice storm trap next time? Quite. Now as for you... This is private property, friend. You are not welcome here. What is this place? What is it? Private property, that's what it is. Now are you going to leave, or do I have to teach you a lesson? Why don't we try the lesson? Oh, -ho, how bold. Ketta, shall we? They're going to leave and get ready for dealing with us. And they are certainly going to be ready by the time we get there. You'd think that they'd try and stop us from resting in here, though. But no! They're absolutely fine with us taking as long as we need to explore the ground floor. But once we go up to the next floor, we're going to be in some bother. Let's get some skeleton warriors to help us out, because there is a trap that we can fall victim to in here. That's not great to uh, stumble across. I think we'll only need the Skeleton Warriors, but I will get the Aerial Servant as well, because it's only one more spell, and Aerial Servants are pretty handy. And you can uh, summon that, uh, that there, and we will haste right here. We want to get rid of the trap right now, so let's step forward to about here. Whereupon... Lots of enemies are going to appear, and the Skeleton Warriors are going to immediately move to deal with these threats. We're also going to get an enrage here. As I point out what these threats are, we have an Ogre Berserker, an Etacap, another Etacap, an Efreet, a Nishru, and something that's going to appear from this Flaming Gate. We've seen a Flaming Gate like that before. The last time we did, it was when we encountered that lich that was uh, hidden in the wall in that tavern. Let's deal with the uh, Nishru first. And we also want to uh, yes. get rid of the uh, Ifrit quite quickly because the Ifrit will conjure up fireballs. As for this threat here, there it is. It's a Glabrazoo. And Glabrazoos are no joke. We'll actually have you uh, step back here and we want you to attack with these uh, cold arrows. It's not likely that uh, you're going to be able to do too much harm to the uh, the Efreet, but that might help. By the way, the Glabrazoo, already gone. You're soon going to be gone too. There we go. We didn't get any experience for defeating those opponents because they were summoned in. And with that, we pretty much dealt with every threat that we'll face on this floor. There are things to loot, like uh, these here, and what looks like a library down there. There's not a lot to find on this floor for the most part, though. There's a book that I could take if I want to. We really don't want to take the book. We'll go down here. There is a book. Another book. This appears to be a library. And there's a book. And another book. We'll put this 
gem away as well. Might as well. And we'll uh, stack that onto there and ready these arrows once more. Not That's by accidentally the taking one of them. I can do that. You can. There's one thing that we can loot here. And Corgan just took the uh, damage for the Berserk State ending. Let's see that there's nothing here. Okay. And go to the next area, while haste is still active. This looks like a master bedroom. There are quite a few things that we can look at. My opinion of this are any of them locked? Any lower? Evidently so. They might be locked, but they're certainly not trapped. That is, uh... That is the locked one. In here is a very low-level scroll. Here is a single gold coin, a gem, and another gem. Uh, suffice to say, so far we are not encountering masses of riches, which might entice you to think you twice mean. about going upstairs. If you'd already triggered the trap, you really might be thinking, you know what, I, I'm, I don't want to do you this, I'll just go. But there is treasure to be had, and the clue is in here. In here are a lot of locked treasure chests. All of these are locked. This one is trapped. We will unlock all of them in turn, and then we will look at all of them. And every single one that we unlock is a little bit of experience. You'd be surprised how much experience that we're going to be getting in this game from dealing with traps alone. I mean, this was nearly a thousand for every party member, considering that Hexat requires only 43,000 or so experience to level up, trap experience does add up. We'll grab some more uh, jewellery here, and a potion. It's in here that we'll get some decent loot. I believe this is, yep, a Morningstar plus two. Not the most impressive thing, but if you'd only just started the game, and decided to come in here for some reason, and survive that massive trap, a Morning Star Plus 2 is a pretty nice find. Here are some acid arrows. There we go, we'll uh, put this here. Now we want to rest again. And get ready for going upstairs. Okay, all of those uh, skeletons are gone. We're going to have stone skin here. Let's go whack something evil. Oh, we're going to, don't worry. We are going to have Resist Fear cast here. Most and we're also going to get some uh, skeletons summoned because we can actually lure the people who are upstairs downstairs. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. And we really want to do that. We really Most want to do that. Let's get a third skeleton. And then we'll get that aerial servant. We'll get haste. And then we have even more spells. Then we will get a invisibility spell. Because there is a nasty surprise upstairs for us. That is improved invisibility. That's what we want cast on you right now. And then haste. And then we'll save. We want Hexat to go up alone. And yeah, ready for combat. Like so. By having all of the uh, fighters in the middle, by the stairs, and the casters at the back. Let us save. And I'll show you what I mean by a trap. Very good. We'll go up. You must gather your party before Ah, entering we must course. gather our party, eh? All right, we'll gather the party. Oh, by the way, we're leaving now. And all of uh, the skeletons that we had here are still here. Now, the reason why we have gone down, not just because uh, Koshi is here, and Koshi is extremely dangerous, Koshi is going to move forward with you great haste to get us. There's also a cleric. There's also some nasty spellcasters of the arcane variety. And there are traps right in front of where you appear. If you rush forward to go and deal with uh, the opponents you face, you are just going to succumb to them. 
you could have trap finding uh, active as soon as you go up and find them. I believe this opponent was a Kensai. This opponent had some magic katanas. This one is, I believe, a plus one katana. This one is a little more magical. We will uh, identify that one once we're done with everything here. We can't save during combat. Is combat actually happening? I think it might be. The game, no, the game does not think we're in combat anymore. Good, excellent. Let's head back up, shall we? And find all of you. You will now head down after us. We want to very quickly, uh, oh, there's one of them. Hello, and there's the second. Let's quickly deal with you. Let's have you away from uh, these uh, melee combatants, because these melee combatants pack a significant punch. And one of them is gone, and you have quite a lot of goodies here, including a uh, empty potion bottle. Look at all of this loot that we're getting. We have helmets, shields, axes, potions, everything that we could possibly want that is awesome. We're going to get all this identified right now, because some of it is quite good. There's another Helm of Charm Protection. The game likes handing you those. I think most of this is rather unassuming. This, however, is a gift of peace. And we like this helmet. A Battle Axe plus two? That is full plate mail that we don't know the identity of. Let's identify it. It's full plate mail plus one. That's full plate mail plus one. I think this is just a uh, fairly average magical shield and two-handed sword. Yep. Fairly average. We'll have you hold on to them. Yeah. Now, we're not done yet. We're not done yet because there is still a cleric to deal with. But the fact that we have dealt with all of the heavy hitters means we are that what much better able to deal you with the foe that's left. This person here, Stalman. Now we're not going to move. We are not going to move. Oh look, there is Scion as well. Let's see if we can... Oh look at those traps that are there. Look at those traps. That's what I wanted to uh, show off there. That there are traps to be uh, discovered. Now we're actually going to try and deal with you uh, while we're up here. We need to deal with these traps. We also need to deal with you two. I think a uh, fireball here might be useful. There we go. Now you're going to have to wait. And while we cannot get to you, I, I think uh, what would you have just uh, shooting here with... Uh, the uh, range projectiles that we have is pretty good. Now that was a, uh, a dispel magic. And that trap is gone. So we can actually have uh, you move forward now. Now Scion and uh, Stalman have been badly hurt. Not badly enough though. Not badly enough. I think another fireball will do us... Oh, well, that wasn't good. We just uh, took some needless damage there. But... What would you have the cleric is gone. And soon you're going to be gone too. Soon you're going to be very gone. Hmm. Let's get some more uh, attacks here. Because each one of these is dealing a little bit... Oh! Did you see that? Keta just hit us really, really hard. And we have lost Dawn. Dawn is just dead. Dawn is just dead. Is we can bring Dawn back. That is uh, something we can do, and we really want to haste here. Oh, by the way! Ketus just turned invisible again. We might lose someone else if we're not careful. Let's just uh, have um, everyone move around. Oh, you require assistance, do you? Well, that's kind of unfortunate for you, because uh, we're not going to give you the opportunity to get that assistance. Oh, there is Keta. Keta tried to attack. Didn't work this time, did it? Ah, you're back now, are you? You are back. Right, we'll have you... Uh... Oh, you need help. You really need help. 
And you're going to try and melee Terry. That's probably not going to work out for you there, um, Edwin. Can we try splitting our attacks here? We just need to get one... Oh, I was about to say we need to get just one good hit here. The one good hit may be, uh, may be difficult to get, but we have dealt with Zion. And there is Keta. You just keep quaffing those potions, don't you? You have a never-ending supply of those healing potions. Did you actually... No, that was actually Keta um, hitting us there. Now Keta is gone! Right! You just keep trying to uh, deal damage there, Edwin. It's not going to work as well as you want it to. Well, the good news is we are victorious. The bad news is... Uh, Dawn is dead. Fortunately, Dawn was not um, permanently killed in the sense that we can't bring him back. So if we cast a Raise Dead, we should be able to uh, return him back with one hit point after, of course, we rest. Uh, resting is... Well, you can try and hit uh, Corgan. Give it a go. Not working, is it? No, it's not. And there we go. That spell is, uh, you cannot save during combat. Pretty sure we're not in combat anymore. But we might be. No, I don't think we are. I don't think we are. Okay, let us, uh, save. And rest. Now, you will return to the party. Add full health. And then we will raise dead on Dawn. This is a long cast. So this is not a spell that you can really do in combat. Not to mention, it brings back the person at one health. And because they have fallen, they don't have any of their equipment on them. Now I want you to uh, grab everything here, please. And we'll start equipping you very quickly. You probably want that on because I'll inevitably forget to put it on later. There's that, and that, and this, and we'll put these here. Might as well actually put the uh, potions of invisibility there, just in case, because we can hand these potions over to you. So you can have 24 of them. That's actually the uh, highest stack of mm. potions that you can have. I right, let's, uh, let's grab the stuff that's here. Specifically grabbing from the pile on the floor, so that I don't accidentally grab some of Dawn's stuff. We want that there, this there, that there, and I think we're good now for, um, for Hexat. It's a good thing that out of all the people to, uh, you are lucky to, to fall in that fight, Hexat was one of them. Mind your tone. Now, I want you to go and grab all of your stuff again. Well, as much of it as you can uh, actually carry. There we go. Give you this, that, and that, and we're well on the way to having you ready to fight once more. We'll give you that again, this again, give you that, this, that. We're still holding on to those. They're going to have some uh, use at some point. Here is one weapon. Another weapon, that weapon, that is just a two-handed sword plus two. So we'll have you uh, hold that there. And I think that is all of the stuff that uh, you were previously using you are back in your possession. You do not want to we have this, that, and this, as well as a short sword, some more potions of invisibility, which goes a long way to explaining uh, how she was able to keep disappearing. This is a mace plus two. This is plate mail plus one. This is an adventurous robe. Would be useful if you just come here, but uh, we haven't just come here. Also, you could really do with all of these potions of invisibility. And this is leather armor plus three. And the true prize, celestial fury plus three. Many centuries ago, a trumpet archon named Chin Yi fell in love with a mortal man in Sholung and swore to protect him from enemies should he ever ride to war. 
When that time came, however, Qin Yi's patron goddess Quan Ying forbade her to intervene, not wishing to contribute to the bloodshed. When Qin Yi's beloved was cut down by a Yan Ti warlord, her grief was terrible and her wrath immediate. Ignoring Quan Yi's warning, she flew onto the battlefield and took up her beloved's katana, using the blade to cut down the warlord and all those who served him. She continued the slaughter of the Yan Ti army until Quan Ying herself appeared before her, arms open and eyes full of sympathy. If it will end this slaughter, I will ease your pain and end your suffering. I do not wish to end my suffering, replied Qin Yi. I wish for my fury to sound throughout the ages, now and forever. Wanting to help her servant, but not wishing to unleash such powerful fury on the world, Quan Ying bound Qin Yi's spirit to the blade of the man she had failed to protect, and then hid the weapon in a warrior's tomb. The tomb was later infiltrated and the weapon stolen, and although Qin Yi's cries could no longer be heard through Bastille with the Blade, her vengeance was as brutal as ever. Combat Abilities Booming Thunder Hit target must save versus spell or be stunned for one round. Shocking blow. 5% chance for an extra 20 electrical damage to hit the target. Charge abilities. Lightning strike once per day. 10 d6 electrical damage. And blindness once per day. And it is a plus 3 katana. This is a mighty weapon. When the game tells you at the beginning that magical katanas are rare, they're not wrong, they are quite rare in this game. But you can find a really good one very early on. And then there's this weapon here. A short sword plus two. Nothing especially spectacular about it, hmm. it's just a short sword. Yeah. And when we come back folks, I we'll continue ready. to explore this place yeah. here. See if there's anything else for us to get, as I think there are a few more goodies for us to uncover. And then we will head to the Umar Hills and explore that area in more detail. See if we can figure out just what's going on there. And we'll check in in Madani's hold, just in case there's something we need to do with that. And so, I'll catch you next time folks, and I'll see you then. Later.